to be here remembering the, the vital spirit, the living spirit of a wonderful journalist and a wonderful human being, Danny Pearl. And we're remembering him in a language that he was very good at and enjoyed himself in music, and particularly a music of a certain informality, but a certain community and its own kind of social and spiritual intensity. I think you're going to hear and feel the presence of Danny Pearl in the music tonight, most especially in the first performers, Cosmic Jack, to wit, Dave Keane and Todd Mack. Dave Keane and Todd Mack were a musical duo in Atlanta, both having come out of Emory University in the early 90s, which was when Danny Pearl got his first real assignment with the Wall Street Journal. He had gone to Stanford, Danny Pearl had. He had been a bit of a ski bum. He had worked for the Berkshire Eagle in Western Massachusetts, but Atlanta for the Wall Street Journal in, the early, in 1991 was his first real professional gig. But then there was also an ad in the Phoenix, so to speak, of, of uh, Atlanta, the arts paper, that said that Cosmic Jack was looking for a violinist. Uh, and he took the gig. He worked probably 200 gigs over three years, maybe more, um, with this group. Danny himself was classically trained on the violin. Uh, he was a very good improviser. He had perfect pitch. He loved the blues. He could play pretty much everything. Dave and Todd say, above all, he was a very, very funny man who enjoyed his life. Listen as they play for the ghost of Danny Pearl. Cosmic Jack. found something uh, backstage where Todd and I were rehearsing and uh, we happened to find just sitting back there this uh, piece of cardboard um, so it seemed pretty appropriate to bring it up Danny is in the building Welcome to FODFest. FOD, you wonder? FOD stands for Friends of Danny, a uh, moniker that started around the time of his wedding that um, seems to uh, get bigger and bigger, the circle. And the fact that you are here tonight qualifies you for FODship. So, welcome. Um, we thought that what better way than to give you an idea of Danny's music than to actually let you hear it. So for the past few weeks, I have been holed up in my studio in the Berkshires, where nobody lives anyway, so it was fine, and um, sifting through hours and hours of old four-track cassette recordings that Dave and Danny and I had done. And uh, without getting too technical, what I did was I found tapes that had Danny playing fiddle and mandolin on his own track. And then I was able to more or less reconstruct songs by putting new drum and bass tracks down and using Danny's original fiddle and mandolin tracks. And um, thanks to the magic of modern technology, we were able to do that. And with any luck, Dave and I are going to attempt to play to those recordings. So we have three songs for you tonight featuring none other than Danny Pearl on fiddle and mandolin. And um, we're going to start with a song that um, Danny used to love playing. I think he loved playing it so much. You'll, you'll hear in this song especially, Danny had a real um, affinity for injecting humor into his playing, especially when it was at my expense. And uh, you're going to hear some of that on this first one. And Dave's too, that's right. It wasn't just me. So, Brian, whenever you're ready, hit that CD. Drunk 
Yeah. 